Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something totally different from what I normally do. Today, I'm gonna be tinting my eyebrows. I have been off of Instagram and YouTube for about a couple of weeks now, and I do apologize for the wait, but here we are with the video. So I posted a reel on Instagram and that reel got so much views I was shocked and so many people were commenting asking me to post a YouTube video of it and asking me what products I use and all of that stuff so here we go today i'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how i did it what product i use and all that so stay tuned so if you see your comment here on this thread a big shout out to you i do appreciate the love and support i'm getting from all of you guys i appreciate it so much and i appreciate your patience while i was gone off of social media anyway hope you enjoyed this video so the first thing I'm going to do is clean my eyebrows and I'm going to be using a cotton ball with some alcohol to do so just to get rid of any oil that may be on my skin. Now using a spoolie I'm going to brush them out or comb them out just to see exactly how they are and if I need to shape them up and yes I haven't touched my face in about two weeks because I was so busy with life so yeah my brows need to get shaped up and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now before I go any further. So I know not many people can shape their eyebrows up themselves so if that's you i would suggest that you skip this part because you really don't need to i just like my brows to be nicely shaped and cleaned up before i start doing anything to them with this white eyeliner pencil i'm gonna outline my brows i'm doing this as a guide so when i'm tinting my brows i will not go outside of the line and I'll know exactly where I want to apply the product. This is totally optional if you are more advanced with doing your brows but if you are new to it I suggest that you do it this way and it will help you to apply your product exactly where you want it without messing up too much. So this is the kit that I'm going to be using to tint my brows today. You guys have been asking what kit I use, what product I use and all of that. So this is the product that I'm going to be using. Inside it has this little baggie with these little capsule looking things. And this is what contained the powder that I'm going to be mixing today. I also got this little angle brush in it. And this is what I'm going to be using to apply the product onto my eyebrows. This is the developer that I'm going to be using to mix in with the powder. It also has this little brush slash comb in it, but I never use it, so I will not be using this today. And lastly, I got these two containers, which I never use the white slash clear one. I only use the black one and that's the one I'm going to be using today to mix the product. So this is one of the little capsule thing that contains the powder and I'm about to open one of them and pour some of it into the black container that I showed you guys not too long ago to start mixing my dye. And I never use an entire pot because it really doesn't need that much. Now I'm going to add the developer onto it, just a few drops, and then I'm going to mix everything together. To mix it, I'm going to use the bottom of the angle brush, and you could use whatever you like to mix it in. 
and here i was just trying to show you guys exactly what it looks like after i mix it but it was kind of hard holding it in the camera because i was afraid i was going to spill it to apply it onto my brows i'm going to use the angle brush that came in the package and this is what it looks like so to apply it this is very easy i dip the brush into the product and then i brush it on into the areas in which i want it I focus more on the middle to the outer end and as I go on you'll see why I do it like this. And you could apply this however you want to just as long as you get in it where you want it to be. Now I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit for you. If you're doing this and you make a mess, you could use a Q-tip like this and clean around the area where you make a mess. Today I did not make no mess, but when I did that Instagram reel, I did make a mess because I was using my phone, of course, while I'm doing it. So yeah, I, I did make a mess and I cleaned it up on that video, but... Yeah, that was just a little demonstration on what you could do if you make a little mess. So as you can see, I still haven't applied any of the product to the inner part of my brows. And this is because I want it to be lighter than the rest of it. So I waited like 20 minutes after applying the most of it to go back and apply that little part on the inner corner of my, on the inner part of my brow. I hope what I'm saying is making sense to you guys because I'm trying to explain it as best as I possibly can so you guys could understand. So it's about 15 to 20 minutes and now I'm going to apply the rest of the product on the inner part of my brow that I was trying to explain to you guys earlier. After applying it to this area, I'm going to leave it on for another 10 minutes or so before I clean it off so just so you guys know the box comes with instructions and you guys are free to go ahead and follow the instructions on the box i do it how it works for me and you really don't need to or have to do it this way you could definitely go with the instruction on the box but this is the way i do it this is the way it works for me To clean the product off, I'm going to be using two pieces of makeup wipes and this is from Neutrogena. I hold them onto my brows for about 10 to 15 seconds just so it will moisten up the dye and then I wipe them off. The reason why I do this is because wiping it off while it's dry could possibly tear my brows out or irritate my skin. So yeah i want to be careful when i'm doing this part so i definitely moisten it up before i start wiping it at this point if you did it the right way you could wipe it as much as you want it's not going anywhere i promise you i've done this so many times before and so i know so this will last me about a week at least before i need to do it again and so it will eliminate some of the time that I would be spending doing my brows. All I need to do now is apply concealer and my brows look brand new. So this is what they look like after makeup. And of course, I'm going to do the little test for you guys. Wipe it with my fingers and show it to you that it's not going anywhere. <laughs> So yes, ladies, go snatch your brows yourself and save your coins. I know it may be hard doing it at first, but the more you practice, the better you will get at it. 
I know this was a highly requested video and I do apologize for taking so long to deliver it. But I do appreciate each and every one of you patience. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you like it. And if you do, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also share it with your friends that you think may like it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.